hello friends welcome to another episode of the engine assembly series and this is also the last episode of this series so in this episode you are going to see the engine getting mounted into the scooter and you can see we have brought the scooter into our roof with our homemade winch and actually we cannot work on the ground floor because we have a construction going on uh, in our neighbor so we had to bring uh, the scooter into our roof so that we can work on it actually the entire project is done on our roof and you can see uh, this is the uh, trial of the engine so you can see the engine functions uh, very nicely and now the engine is getting mounted into uh, the frame you can see this is where uh, the engine is mounted into the frame and this is uh, the mounting post you can say uh, it is made out of uh, pipe this is where it is bolted to the engine and on the other side is bolted to the frame and it it swings in its place uh, in the shock absorber After tightening all the bolts uh, in the engine, uh, the engine is fitted into the frame. Now the next thing is uh, fitting the shock absorber and you can see it's tightening all the shock absorber bolts. You can see one bolt is down here and the other bolt is up here. Now this is a single shock absorber suspension system. After fitting the ignition system and all the wires and everything and also the carburetor now the only thing left is to start the engine. After priming uh, the fuel, the engine eventually starts up, but uh, we hear a knocking type of sound from the blockhead. This was the horrible sound that I was talking about. After scratching our head till uh, midnight, we finally found out that uh, the sound uh, is coming from the blockhead and actually it's coming from the rocker arm and the camps. 
and this was the only place we haven't uh, looked after uh, working on it till morning 4 am we finally made it to work and unfortunately we were unable to shoot it because uh, our friend had to go home and me and my brother we both were busy uh, fixing it so the problem was uh, the rock arm actually is much more softer still than the cams and due to a prolonged period of running uh, without oil uh, the uh, rock arm was substantially damaged and it was actually grinded and there were grooves cut, cut into it and due to it every time the cam rotates it uh, makes the noise and after we have filed it uh, and grinded it smooth the sound reduced uh, about 90 percent and this is how it sounds later Replacing the cams and the rocker arm will make a much more smoother sound but we did not do it because this is a budget fix and it will do the job uh, for now so that was it You can see we are using our winch again uh, to get this scooter down in the ground floor now the body panels are going to be fitted in the ground floor because with the body panels we cannot attach the chains properly so after we get it down the body panels are going to be uh, fitted very easily it's not much of a time it will take hardly about half hour and then we will uh, take a test ride and you'll see it A fall from this two-story height will definitely destroy the scooter and the van that is standing below. We were stabilizing the scooter with ropes while he was cranking it down so that it does not uh, get hit on the edge of uh, the building. So after lowering the scooter, while the body panels were being fitted, um, I was unable to shoot it because uh, I had to go to do some other work. Now, it took no time uh, to fit the body panels, just a few screws and then it was done. You can see after everything is finished our friend uh, took it on a ride or uh, a trial run and it ran pretty good so I can say this was a success.